Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tim here with TestDemi.com, automation testing for beginners using Selenium WebDriver. We're back. We're looking at tutorial number 26. Man, we're making progress, yo. Uh, we're going to look at uh, reading from files, right? The previous video, we looked at how to write to a file using the open um, function and the, uh, uh, the write uh, mode. This time, we're going to look at reading. So let's jump into it. We got work to do. Let's get it. All right. So, um, I'm going to uh, continue from where we left off from the previous uh, uh, file, excuse me, or video. So what we're going to do here, as you can see here with my notes here, for to read, we're going to use the same open function. We're going to use the read, uh, the R, uh, which is the read only uh, mode feature. So let's go ahead and uh, say, call a, uh, create a file called a uh, function series, a variable, pardon me, uh, called um, read, read only, right? And we're going to do open. All right, and the same thing, guys. You want to have a file name. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue from where we left off from the previous video. I'm going to I'm going to use the uh, last file that we created. If you guys remember, uh, here's the file uh, right here. So here's the file, right? This uh, test underscore file number two dot txt. So let me go ahead and close that. So we're going to read that file uh, from our uh, actual uh, directory here. So sorry, let me actually... Let me copy this, right? Because you know we want this file name. That's where you want to input this as your parameter. You want to put that in. Uh, do comma. Then you're going to do the R mode. Then we're going to do read only dot read, right? Oops, not read line because we want to read. Uh, let's do read only dot read. All right, we do read. And what you want to do is a lot of times uh, if we run this, it's actually, it's actually going to work, but it's not going to output anything to our screen as you see. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and wrap this in a print function. And you want to go ahead and also wrap it in the string uh, method also so it can know that it's actually because it reads uh, the string as a string uh, there. So let's go ahead and run it. And you're going to see we read it from that actual file. So we read it from uh, this particular file, which is the... Uh, test underscore file two dot txt so here's the text right that it read from the file right uh, so you read that from the file now what we can do is uh, like we mentioned like in the last video we used the uh, with as so let me go ahead and uh, comment that out and we're going to do the same thing reading from that same file right so we're going to do with and you're going to do open and you're also going to do the same thing the same method and let's go ahead and uh, call the read uh, mode and you want to do as, in this case, again, any file name we can call, we can just say file name, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, right. And we're going to do um, file name, file underscore name, and we're going to do dot read. And it's going to be the same thing. But again, uh, with this one, it automatically uh, closes it for us. We don't have to actually worry about closing it. Python does that for us. We don't have to use the close method. Um, so what we'll do here, same thing. We'll just wrap this in a print function, and uh, also in a string function. Uh, let's see here. All right, and go ahead and run it. And you can see it also read it, right? Because we commented out this previous one, and it went ahead and read it, and automatically closed it. Actually, this should this should go here because <laughs> I have the uh, notes here. All right. Uh, let me show you guys one more thing here before we wrap up the video. Uh, we're going to show how to do what's called the read line. And uh, with the read line, uh, what you want to do here is you want to, let's comment this out real quick. Uh, remember, that's control forward slash. So we're going to say using the read line, using the read line feature. So it's going to be dot read line. Okay. And so for that one, we're going to say, let's just call this one uh, read underscore line. Okay. And we're going to call, um, for this, we're going to do open. And with the file, oops, not that. That's a lot. We don't want all that. We can just grab the same file name, right? Grab that file name. And what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and also use the read, right? And in this case, you're going to do read line. But before we call that, what I want to do, I want to show you guys this. We go back to our file here, um, this test underscore file two. I want to go ahead and change the file so we can see how, how it reads each and every line. So what it's going to do is when we call this particular read line, 
uh, mode feature is going to read this first line, then it's going to read uh, the second line. But it reads only one line at a time, right? So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's close this out. Let's save it. And let's uh, move that. And let's go ahead and call the read line. We're going to say that read line. You can see it here. And uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to wrap this in a print and string um, function. So string also. And here we go. Oops. There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sorry. All right. So we wrap that in the read line. And we're all set. And you're going to see it's going to read this. Uh, it's going to read just the first line, right? See that? Uh, it just read the first line of our, our file, the te test underscore file number two dot txt. It just read this first line. So if you wanted to read the second line, what you want to do is you want to actually pass another. Um, you want to do that two times. And now it's going to read the second line, right? And you're going to see it's going to show both lines, right? So you can see it here. And now it actually read the second line uh, right there. So that's pretty much it for the read uh, read feature. Uh, you can see how we use the read feature uh, using uh, the R um, uh, mode. We use the read line uh, method. We also use the with ask to automatically close it with Python or when we read files. Uh, but go ahead and practice it. Practice from an Excel uh, file, from a, a TXT uh, note, uh, text file, and other methods and formats. Uh, go ahead and try it out. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube page. Give us a like if you like it, you know, do so. Also, uh, feel free to leave a comment, uh, leave your code in there so I can give you some kind of feedback. And also, don't forget to subscribe to testdemi.com for great new information as far as how to get into software testing. I have some uh, free tutorial there. And I'll see you in the next video. Testdemi.com. It's Tim signing out. Peace. See you soon. Holla.